Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how I back up my computer so that in the event that I cannot use my computer for whatever reason, all my files will still be safe and I can still work on them with zero downtime. Let me start by saying that I have three computers. The Mac Mini is the one that I'm using to do all my work. This is a MacBook Air that I use mostly as a backup to the Mac Mini. And this is a Windows laptop that I use mostly to test Windows software. Anyway, you don't need so many computers. All you need is your main computer and some online cloud storage service to back up your work. Let's take a look at some of the more popular online cloud storage services that are currently out there. These are not free. These are the pricing. Um, these are actually the yearly pricing divided by 12 months. Uh, this is the average monthly pricing. So I'm just going to give you my general advice when it comes to choosing between these services. Think about it this way. If for some reason you have no access to your computer and you have one of these services, what would happen? Let's say, for example, you are using Apple iCloud to back up your Mac or you're using Backblaze to back up your Mac or your Windows computer and you need to send your computer for servicing and you have some urgent work that is on your computer that you need to work on, that you need to send to your client. Well, these two services, they will not give you access to the individual files that were backed up within the backup. So for that reason, I actually do not use iCloud to back up my Mac, even though it can back up my Mac. I'm actually using Microsoft OneDrive to back up all my documents. I work with a lot of photos, videos, graphic design, and digital art files. Um, my video files are stored on external storage because those video files are really huge. But for all the other files, I actually store them with Microsoft OneDrive. Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, and Dropbox, they will also back up your whole computer. OneDrive, Google Drive, and Dropbox have integration with Mac OS and Windows. So whenever you create a document, a file, you save it onto your computer, it will be synced online. And that file will be accessible on all other computers. So for example, let's say I've saved this price chart on my desktop already. I can assess the same price chart on this Windows laptop. I can also assess the price chart on my phone or tablet through the file browser or through the apps created by those companies. The criteria here is you need internet access to be able to access that file that is online. If your computer is sent for servicing and your spare computer does not have internet access, then obviously you will not be able to access your file that is stored online. Let me show you how Microsoft OneDrive actually works in more detail since that's the service that I'm using to back up my computer. Now, Google Drive and Dropbox should have similar features compared to OneDrive. So let's take a look at this folder with some folders and files. See these check marks here? This means the files are actually on the computer and those files and folders with the cloud icon are actually online, but you still have access to it. All these are actually just bookmarks to your files online. So let's say I want to open a file that is actually not on my computer, that is actually online. So let me just go in and take a look at all these files. Um, all these are actually stored online. I can still open them but I will need internet access because they are actually online. So let me just double click this and it would actually download the file and open it up. The download speed obviously will depend on your internet connection speed. Let's say you're working on a graphic design file and once you save the file and you close it, it would be saved onto the cloud instantly and it will be backed up onto the cloud so your file is actually very safe and if you want to work with that same file again just open it up and it would download back onto your computer this is the file that i was working on earlier so this is actually the bookmark to the file online if you know you're going to work 
in an environment where there is no internet connection you can actually choose to download this file in advance just choose to keep the file on your computer and it will download the file and the chat box sorry the check mark will appear soon here's the important thing regardless of whether your file is on your computer or it's actually online your files will be backed up it will be safe it will be accessible to you through any device the nice thing about microsoft onedrive is even if your computer has very limited storage let's say you only have 64 gigs of storage you can actually choose to move all this file online and store them online so that they won't take up space on your computer so you can actually store up to one terabyte of files on their server and free up all this space so these are actually all bookmarks that don't take up space on your computer and this is what i really like about microsoft onedrive um, you can have a computer with very limited storage but you still have access to one terabyte of storage online i am actually paying for the family plan so uh, six person each person can get one terabyte of online storage it's a really good deal this is us currency if it's just one person uh, it's six dollars per month it's still really worth the money and there is google one which has two terabyte it's eight uh, US dollars and Dropbox it's 10 US dollars if you are using Apple iCloud there is something very important you need to know there are actually two services under Apple iCloud the first service is the backup service which will back up your Mac your iPad and your phone the other service is the Apple iCloud Drive which is actually a folder online where you can store your files so if you are just working on your files and save it on your computer um, it would automatically be backed up to iCloud but if you want to store that file online so that you can share it with someone else you have to store it on iCloud Drive anyway the main thing about iCloud is this if you send your computer for servicing you will not have access to your files unless you store them on the iCloud Drive and this is the main reason why I am not using this to back up my computer instead I'm using Microsoft OneDrive because when I send my computer for servicing I still have access to my files with OneDrive, with Google Drive or with Dropbox Backblaze works the same as Apple iCloud Backup and for Adobe, um, this is actually part of the Adobe Creative Suite if you sign up for their plan they give you 100 megabytes of online storage for free but if you want to upgrade to one terabyte it's an extra ten dollars per month and they don't have the special integration with your uh, mac os or windows so you have to save your files directly into the adobe cloud folder the bottom line is this if you don't want to think too much about backups go with OneDrive, Google Drive or Dropbox my recommendation is to go with OneDrive because the pricing is extremely competitive and this is the service that I always recommend to uh, people who are buying a new Mac, a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro but they have limited budget they don't want to spend the 200 extra dollars to upgrade their storage from 256 to 512 gigabytes so uh, you don't have to upgrade your storage just buy the Mac with the least amount of storage and get Microsoft OneDrive which will give you one terabyte of online storage it's a good deal it's a very good deal and if you happen to want to sign up to Microsoft OneDrive consider using the affiliate link that I have for you in the video description below I don't earn any money I just get some extra storage space on OneDrive when you sign up through that link these online cloud storage services are definitely worth the money because you really don't want to lose hours or days of your work and you certainly do not want to lose years of your photos so that's how i back up my files how about you how do you back up your file what is your backup system share with me in the comment section below because i really love to find out how you guys back up your files i hope this video is helpful thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye